out there on YouTube. This is 43 Eyes, and today I'm going to show you how to make a bucket server, a Minecraft bucket server. And as most of my uh, subscribers know, it, um, I have my own bucket server, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that if you plan on making a server without Hamachi with your friends and play with them. And I'm going to show you how to do it without Hamachi, so people don't have to go through the tr through the trouble of downloading Hamachi for you and connecting to your server or whatever. So first, what we're going to do is let me close these tabs. Is you need to um, download Bucket. Um, it's a jar file, but um, it needs to be a jar file. Just begin, I don't know why, but it just needs to. So you go, you go to bucket.org. It's spelled B-U-K-K-I-T, and basically, Bucket is a third-party server. And what a third-party server allows you to do is put in third-party plugins, such as World Guard or World Edit or something like that. But the default Minecraft server program would not allow you to do that because. Um, it doesn't have the functionality to add plugins. So if you download a third party one, your server will be a lot more functional and that's why I like to do bucket instead of just the default program. So first you uh download the latest recommended build right here, MC one point eight point one. Uh let's see, then you click on this to download it keep and then it will um, download it uh, if you're using Google Chrome you just click on this little down arrow right here and you click show in folder and it should be selected right there okay it should be a dot jar file let me make that a little bit more recognizable just changing the icon Hold on, hold on. Juicy fault program. There, okay. So, on your computer, it should look like that a jar file. But I had it to open with RenRAR, so it had a different icon. So, anyway, you just create a new folder on your desktop. Name it whatever you want. Get, you can get creative here. You can name it Candy, or you can, can name it uh, Placemat, or Flying Pickle, or whatever you want. But I'm just going to name mine Jumbo Eggplant Server. Okay? In all capitals. So open up your new folder. You can probably guess what I'm going to do here. You drag the snapshot file into your folder okay guys I'm back sorry I just had some technical difficulties but I'm back so anyway you just drag this into here okay and then it creates a jar file it puts it in there as a jar file and then what you need to do there's a code that you need but I'm gonna take you through this step by step and I'm gonna have the code in the description so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste the code from my server I already have If I can find it on my desktop, my dirty desktop. Here it is. Okay, disregard all this stuff. Um, edit. Okay. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna put this code in the description so you guys can do it. But anyway, you go to, you right click an empty space in the folder, and then you go to new text document okay and right here at the extension at the extension no wait you might not have extensions but I'm gonna show you how to get extensions you go to edit uh, you go to edit you know you go to tools and you go to folder options okay and then you go to view and then in here there should be something called like hide extensions for known file types just ex uncheck that and then um 
you'll be able to see the extensions. And this is dot text, but we want to rename that to dot b a t dot bat. It doesn't have to be capital, but I accidentally had caps lock on. So you right click that and go to edit, and then you paste that code in, okay? But you might have a little technical difficulty. Wait, no, wait, you won't have any technical difficulty. No, 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 never mind. Okay, and you save that and close it. Okay, and then you double click the, um, actually, you probably want to rename this to server or something like that. Okay, and then you double click it and it will run through all the processes and make all the folders it needs. Just give it a minute. Okay, whenever it's done and you have your world file and everything, close that back out and go to server.properties and you can config different things in here such as world, uh, what the world name is, um, if you want the nether to be allowed, and view distance, and all this, these cool stuff, all this cool stuff, but you can just config that to your own liking, and this is the plugins folder, where you can add different plugins, but I'll probably make another video later, showing you how to get plugins, okay, and then, you can just start up your server, but your friends won't be able to join yet, because, um, you have not port forwarded, most likely, but if you have port forwarded, then you're done with this video and you have just made a bucket server without plugins. But I'm going to show you how to port forward if you haven't already. So what you do, so you don't need that anymore, you go to your um, command line and you type in this IP, you can IP config, right there, IP config, okay? And then you scroll up until you find default gateway this is what you're gonna want to put into your browser mine is 192.168.1.1 most people's is gonna be that and then it's gonna ask you for a, a username and password but uh, you have to put that IP address inside of your web browser by the way uh, it's gonna ask you for a username and password um, I'm going to put a link in the description to a link of router default username and passwords. And um, for my for my router, it's administrator admin. And it's usually something like that. Something like 1234 for the password or admin as the username or like admin as the password and, and or administrator as the username. Just something pretty simple like that. You just log in. And if you ever link these router, my router is Linksy's. Um, but it might be a little different for other people's routers, but it's going to be a simple, essentially the same. For me, I have to go to applications and gaming and then go to port range forwarding. Now, all you have to do is just go to some part in your router settings. It kind of looks like port forwarding or, um, ports or click on something like that in your settings. If you don't have a Linksys router and it should bring up something that looks kind of like this. Now, to make a new port, just name it, so, Minecraft, okay, because that's, um, that's what the game that we want to make it for, and the port that Minecraft is on is 25565, usually. Okay, um, I'm back, um, my, it's usually 25565, and then... For the um, import, you put 25565 as well. And then on protocol, um, it's either TCP or U UDP. But just click both to be safe. And then this is where you put, go back to your IP config, um, IP config command line. Hold on. I think I accidentally. Okay. Um, IPv4 address is what you're looking for, and mine is 192.168.1.109. It's gonna look like it's gonna start with 192.168 and then end with something like .1.105 or something. 
but that's what you're gonna put in here and it's gonna say 192.168.1.10 nine for me but it might be different for you then you just click that to enable it and then you click save settings um it said an error occurred because it's probably i copied it or something but um but yeah Okay, yeah, because I already, I already made a Minecraft port. It had an error because I already had one. But anyway, you're still not done after you port forward. You still need to edit your firewall settings a little bit. So what you want to do is you want to search for firewall in your um, whatever it's called, your start menu. You go to Windows Firewall and Advanced Security. Take a minute to open up. Okay, once it's open, you need to go to inbound rules and then go to action, new rule, and then select port, click next. <coughs> um in here put 25565, okay, and hit next, and then hit allow connection, and then next and hit domain private public. All those and hit next and then name it whatever you want in the description whatever you want but you should probably name it minecraft and then description you don't you don't really need to, need to put a description even and then you just hit finish but i've already done this so i just hit cancel and you after that you stay in inbound rules and you go to action new rule and you do the same thing wait yeah you do the same thing except on this step you click on udp UDP instead of T TCP and then you just do the same thing allow connection domain and then whatever you want whatever you want but I've already done it and then you go to outbound rules and do exactly the same thing except for one thing so you go to action new rule port 25565 keep it on TCP for now and then it'll be on block connection but you want to turn on allow connection this time and then that, and then that, whatever you want, whatever you want. But I've already done it, so I cancel. Do the same thing. Port UDP to 5565. Next. Allow connection. Man, all that. But I've already done it. And yeah. So after you do that, you are all set. You are ready to start up your. Um, bucket server and it should run good and be up and yeah so anyway guys this has been 43 eyes please rate comment subscribe and leave down in the comments below if you want me to do how do you do plugins so yeah i'll see you in the next video later